I'm Tyler Uremchuk, and welcome into the week that was here on the Daily Faceoff YouTube. It's brought to you by our friends at Bet365, where you can sign up today and use the promo code DAILY365 to get in on a huge range of markets. Another quiet week around the NHL, but a couple of little pieces of information to throw your way. The first, the New York Rangers announced on Saturday that the team and Braden Schneider agreed to terms on a two-year contract. It's going to come in with an AAV or cap hit around $2.2 million. Braden Schneider, one of the many young pieces on that Rangers blue line. Last season, the 22-year-old scored five goals and added 14 assists, and he averaged just under 16 minutes of ice time while a appearing in all 82 regular season games. One other signing comes on the ELC side of things as the Utah Hockey Club signed their first ever draft pick, Tija Ginla, to his entry-level deal. The Kelowna BC native suited up for the WHL's Kelowna Rockets during the 23-24 season and across 64 games, he was wildly productive with 47 goals and 37 assists. He was the team leader in goals for the Rockets during the regular season and added 15 points in 11 playoff games as well. Obviously, son of Jerome Aginla had a lot of Flames fans hoping he would fall to Calgary at ninth overall, but it was Utah who snapped him up a little bit earlier, and now we'll see if Aginla can make the jump to the NHL just a few months after being drafted. Really, the big thing over the last seven days is more along the lines of what didn't happen while Ryan Suter did sign a one-year deal. With the St. Louis Blues, there are still a number of UFAs still on the board. Matt Larkin compiled the best remaining UFAs over at DailyFaceOff.com. He had a total of nine of the our top 75 still unsigned. The highest is at number 34, James Van Riemsdyk. The 35-year-old is coming off a one-year deal with the Boston Bruins that saw him score 11 goals in 71 games. A couple of players under the age of 30 still on this list. One is Daniel Sprong, who actually scored 18 goals in 76 games last year with the Detroit Red Wings. He's still looking for a new deal and would definitely give a team looking for some for a bit of a bottom six scoring punch a little bit of uh, production. Another name under 30 is Kevin LeBanc. He scored just two goals and seven assists in 46 games last year with the San Jose Sharks. So maybe a bit of a reclamation project there. Oliver Shillington came in at number 69 on our top 75 unrestricted free agents. A bit of drama out in Calgary about has he rejected some some two-year deals from the teams. Did he maybe overplay his hand a little bit here in free agency? Shillington at just 27 years old, hasn't played a lot of hockey over the last number of years due to mental health struggles and things of that nature, but is looking for a new deal. It's just a question of will it be in Calgary or not? Some other names on the list include Tyson Berry, Tony D'Angelo, Tyler Johnson, Mike Hoffman, and Max Pacioretty. So a handful of quality free agents still out there for teams to be looking at. But other than that, it's all quiet. We didn't get a trade in the last seven days. We didn't get any sort of a major signing on the free agent front either. So we will continue to play the wait and see game when it comes to news around the NHL. That's a wrap on the week that was here on the Daily Faceoff YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and head over to our friends at Bet365. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.